Hey guys, welcome to another Alice lesson. Now in this lesson, we're going to learn and understand the usage of vehicles. Alright, so I already added an object detail, so add any object. I already added a box car. And now, let's make it move. Let's create a new method first. So we'll call it move AI. And we'll make it move. So move forward 10 meters. Alright. And then we'll drag this to the world dot my first method. And then we'll check something really quickly. All right, perfect. And there you go. It goes off on its own. But say you're like making a racing game and you want the camera to follow the car. So let's get rid of this. We don't need this. So let's create a new event. Let the arrow keys move subject, and we'll make that subject the box car, the entire box car. So let's go to play, restart that, and there you go, it's moving. But say I go off the screen, I go like this. I want to turn it back, but I don't know where it is. So, and you want the camera to follow the box car. So here's what we do: you we go to to the object that we that we want to follow the box car. In this case, the camera. We go to properties, then go to vehicle, and we'll set it to the box car, the entire box car. Then let's see what happens. And there you go. It's following the box car. So what a vehicle is? Well, a vehicle is basically um, the object it's attached to in terms of Alice. So. If a camera is set vehicle to the boxcar, it's attached to the boxcar. No matter how far away it is, no matter how close it is, or whatever, it's attached to it. So watch this. I go really, really far. Play. We start that. It still follows. It doesn't matter. It still follows. It's set vehicle to that. Alright. <coughs> let's try something different, alright? Now, let's set it back to the world. Let's actually use the box car. Let's actually use the vehicle uh, tile or block of code in the code itself. So let's make the box car. It'll move forward one meter. And then we're going to go to the camera properties, drag in the vehicle. And then at that moment, it's going to set the vehicle to the entire box car. All right. And then we go back to the box car, methods, move forward, sorry, move forward 10 meters. Let's click play and see what happens. Alright, so let's take a look at the code here. The box car will move forward by 1 meter, and by default, the camera's not set vehicle to it, alright? But then the camera will set vehicle to the box car and it will move forward 10 meters. So that's Basically, how you use it the code, and how you also use it without the code itself. So that's basically a basic understanding of understanding vehicles. You can click at the bottom right corner of your screen to go move on to the next lesson, or just go back to the previous lesson at the bottom left. Rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a PM. Leave a comment below, and I'll try my best to answer. And check out my blog, and I'll see you guys later. Good day.